Hey, it's Thursday night. Time for another last of fresh era. Another episode of Thrifty Business. Yes. I'm your one host, Jason Thrips, and with me, as always, usually. Well, sometimes, once in a while. I'm Debbie. Nice Debs. Time. What's happening, Debs? It's hot up here. Well, not as hot as it has been, but it's still hot. <laughs> yeah, just normal here. Everyone keeps asking how hot it is here, and it is very normal. And normal for us is like 108, but that's normal. And so everyone else who's going through this craziness, we're like, yeah, yeah. 106 in the summer in Vegas, very normal. But you're at dry heat. Oh, yeah. Seven percent is... humidity. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just really feel for those up in Washington State because that's horrible. When it gets oh, it up. is absolutely crazy. All right. We've got a fun show, a different show than we normally have done. So let's uh, let's introduce our guest so we can kick the show off. Maybe where is my now it's time for Jay's Tiki Talk. Each week I drink a different rum out of a different tiki mug and try and match it up to my guest. And our guest this week is Tavella Riddle because she was ballsy enough to volunteer. <laughs> so yeah. what we're doing tonight is we're going through T store and we're gonna look at ways she can improve on her store. Now, those of you who are not in my secondary group, The Seeker Beach, we do this usually every Monday. Seeker Beach is an offshoot of the thrifting board, and it's a, a subscription-based group, but we each month we do uh, all kinds of webinars, and I work with you in your store. And so uh, the big question is, how is Tavella done? Because she has watched every, every other store review and has made the changes. Tons of them. So tonight it isn't about, oh, what, are we just watching her store review? No. you. I mean, yes, you are, but you're hopefully going to see things, oh, geez, I'm doing that wrong. I should adjust that. And the big thing, and this is how it's going to match up to the rum tonight, is we're going to talk international shipping, oh. and I'm going to show you <laughs> cash money figures, how you actually can make money if you do it on your own, but you can't if you let someone else do it for you. So in that case... I decided to drink a foreign rum, which people would say, aren't they all foreign? No, there are so many domestic rums now. So I pulled out a really nice Brugal. This one's from the Dominican Republic. Nice. And A, because we're going to talk about an item that she has labeled as a tiki, uh, <laughs> kind of like a Moai. And it's July 4th weekend. So no better weekend than to bust out the red, white, and blue Moai. Love it. This was from a bar called the Tiki's. It says it underneath very faintly. So if you find a mug like this and see it in red or this red, white, and blue, send me a picture of the bottom. It's probably from the Tiki's, and it is worth a lot of money. The Tiki's was a place in uh, Southern California. Oh, good old Southern California. Well, since the Tiki lives in Southern California... Remember we were at Idle Hour, Jason? This is North Hollywood. So I figured, ah, uh, she's kind of close. Kind of <laughs> kind of <laughs> close to North Hollywood. Yeah. And um, we we were there. And then Jason sent us these mugs. And I cheated. I have a little bit of margarita. Tom, here. did you just ask if I was drinking out of a plastic tiki mug? Have you <laughs> never met me, Tom? Hell no. This is a ceramic. Plastic is only for by the pool. We ain't by the it's pool not. right now. The straw kind of made it look like it. I thought oh, it was yeah. No, never plastic. Hush your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and don't drink margarita out of like me. But I always break the rules. And uh, uh, so Tabella said she was going to start earlier. So what are you drinking? <laughs> well, I decided to have some common sense. So I'm drinking iced tea. Oh. Because I was like, you scared me when you said you laughed out loud at one of my listings. Yep, <laughs> that, like, that, oh, that's God. what we have to look forward to. <laughs> All right. So sit back, relax. And then Debbie and I are going to do our segments. And then uh, we will go through your store. So everyone have pen and paper ready because you definitely will probably learn things, things you should and should not do when it comes to your eBay listings. And you're in you don't have to have a store because a lot of these are going to be tips directly about the listings. We are going to talk about the yeah. store itself as a whole for a little bit, but also direct listing. So be ready. All right. 
We'll see in a little bit. Okay. And Brian has a question. Or I think it was Brian. Oh, no. It was Elisa. Whose birthday is it? So before we get to our uh, segments this week, Matthew Lance, who is one of the admins slash lifeguards in the thrifting board, it's his birthday today. Yay! And a week from today, we'll be hanging out. So Oh, cool. His birthday drink will have to wait one week. Okay, well, I have a card for him. Some people don't think it's necessary to act wild and party all night just to celebrate a birthday. You should avoid those people at all times. <laughs> Happy birthday. And later on, my husband and I will eat, we eat enjoy each one of these. And here's your birthday below. There's Matthew in the chat. So happy birthday, Matthew. Happy birthday. Me too. All right. Now the festivities are on the way. Let's get right to it. And now it's time for our scores of the week. These are the items that you should be on the lookout for when you're out thrifting. Ooh, someone just made an offer on hoochie shorts. Okay, Deb, go ahead. Cool. Crackers in my bed. We accepted a best offer. Oh, no, we sent out an offer of $22. So sending out those offers does work. I paid $3 for it, and it wasn't listed very long. It actually sold in the same year it was listed. <laughs> Nice. Look at you making <laughs> leaps and bounds. Listing and selling in the same year. I'm improving. My first ever Jenko. I wasn't even sure. I had to ask in the group, is this doesn't look like other Jenkos, but I guess it was. And um, let's see. Yeah, so for $24.99, but I paid nine dollars at Savers for this. I don't know why. I guess they some of the names they think they know they price up, but I was so excited to finally find a piece of it. So at least I got my money back. And then uh, this is a consignment book sold for $50. That's one manja. Yes. So that was nice. Manja does well. Usually I have to do it in lots to get them to sell, but that's a good one. What is, I? you know, I don't really pay attention all that much when I'm prepping just so I could be surprised, but I saw this go by. I'm like, <laughs> what is uh, this? I love finding these weird pieces. Now she she's from she's an ancient one. She's from 2017, but um, we accepted a best offer of twenty dollars on her because she'd been listening so long. But somebody made that, and it was just I love it. I love finding those weird statue pieces, things like that, and you know it sat around waiting for just the right person. And so sat she around for four it. years, but it found the right person. So yeah. that's good. Once I list it and put it on the shelf, I'm like, oh well. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> melting. She's in the Pacific Northwest and melting <laughs> away. <laughs> I'm going to miss the old broad. All right. Don't let anyone tell you DVDs don't sell. Now, not every DVD sells, but when you find the right ones, like this Walt Disney Legacy Collection that I picked up brand new at Sabres for $18, I sold it on Amazon this week for $100. Well done. Okay. You know, once I got accused of uh, only selling Hawaiian dresses, because I know them real well, because I apply a lot of the same things I know about Hawaiian shirts to Hawaiian dresses, and I'm like, I can sell other dresses. Here you go. $60 for, I can't pronounce it. Le, le Col de Femme? De femme? Oh, who knows? Oh. Who knows? But I got 60 bucks and I paid $8 for it. That's the important part as I sold the dress. Score. Heck yeah. Oops. That one's too big. Okay. If you remember last week, I sold an Anthrax guitar tab book for $99. And this week I sold a ZZ Top guitar tab book for $100. But I did want to point out what I wrote in the condition. Uh, lower third of the book has gotten wet. However, there is no real damage beyond some wrinkling. All pages are free of each other and turn easily. And they still gave me $100. So this shows you don't shy, shy away from things that aren't perfect. The pages all still turned. They can still uh, play it and read it. But of course, it isn't in pristine condition. So had it been, I would have gotten more than 100 Yeah. Nice. That's a good, I love that description, the way you wrote it. I usually yep. say this does not affect the text. Yep. Great. Sad. So, what do you do with wet books? If the pages are still free of each other, that's what you got to kind of mention. All right. Yeah. Don't you love good customer service? My wife ordered a pair of shoes from a company and they sent her these. My wife is not a size nine and a half men. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's a very tiny women, six and a half. And so she's like, hi, uh, yeah, I don't wear men's shoes nine and a half. You didn't send me the right shoes. So they sent her the right shoes and said, just keep these. Nice. Yeah. 
So keep these in. We put a hundred bucks in our pocket. So her shoes were free and we made money because her, her shoes didn't cost a hundred bucks. Good job. Stacy's always making money. Woohoo. Oops. Oops. I jumped ahead. Hold please. <laughs> I got so excited. I was like, oh man. <laughs> and now it's time for our CD and cassette scores of the week. And as always, we start with flipping cassettes. Yeah, I should have had a picture of her in the shoes. All right. Sometimes you put the cassettes singularly. You'll see one in a second. Sometimes you put them in groups. This is four punk bands. I know they're all Debbie's favorite. Murphy's Law, GBH. Yeah. Yeah, but I haven't heard of them. Yeah. Uh, but I put them together in a group, and it is sold for a best offer of 15 bucks. And then sometimes cassettes are just better by themselves, like this Molly Crew, which I paid 2 bucks for last week. I already sold it for $20 on Amazon. Nice. That's some serious art. Are you flipping cassettes yet? If not, why not? How about? Oh, again, I jumped ahead real quick. To show you how far cassettes have come back, this is from the Disney Music Emporium. This is the new Cruella movie that just came out two weeks ago. They had the soundtrack on cassette. That's amazing. Cassette. That's how nutty it has become. So I, if you haven't started looking at cassettes yet, I don't know what I'm going to do to get you to it because every week I show you good sales. I show you that companies are, are bringing back cassettes. And, and look, the sound compared to everything else is horrible. So it's just a nostalgia thing. And it will end at some point. But we've yeah. been saying it's going to end for about three years now. We've been doing cassettes. So it's still humming along. All right, so let's get to the you ever, have, you ever have a week that you don't sell at least one cassette tape? Oh, no. I get sell cassettes all the time. That's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, same with the records. I put this up last night. Uh, I paid $8 for it at a record store, and I took a best offer of 50 bucks. Nice. Now, I might have wanted to hold out for more, but I was just about to hit the next $1,000 for the month of June, and we were coming at the end, and I wanted to hit it. So yeah. I took a little bit less and I hit it. So I was very excited okay. about that. Congratulations. So yeah, so Hunger Games, uh, this was selling for 20 bucks just last year. And I probably could have held out for about 65, but it, it it was less important for that $15 and more important to hit the next milestone for me. So so that's what I wanted to make sure happened. Uh, but in the, in the future, I would just wait. And now we go from flipping cassettes to flipping CDs. Okay, last week was all $100 CDs. This week is all 50s. Now, on the surface, you might be like, oh, you're slipping. You know, hundreds aren't all that common, but the fact that I had all these 50s in a row this week was pretty, pretty awesome. Here is a Susanna Hoffs. Now, who is she, Deb? I have no idea. Lead singer of the Bengals. Right oh, well, so I can't remember that. Uh, this is a promo CD single, $55. Like, Debbie didn't even know who Susanna Hoffs was. Mm. Wow. How about Vanilla Ice? Now, anyone in the chat, we got over 100 live people. Did anyone ever see the movie Cool as Ice? And more so, did you see it in the theater? I did. No <laughs> one else did. Cool as Ice was a movie that was made uh, when, when Vanilla Ice hit the peak of his popularity in 1991, and it cost $6 million to make, which is very cheap for a movie, and it only took in $1 million at the box office. Oh my eight, eight of that dollars was mine. That's <laughs> but a I, bought, <laughs> I bought this soundtrack for 10 bucks, Deb, and I've been waiting. I had it up for 100 It's rare, but not that many people care. <laughs> ah. So this was kind of a Debbie thing. I've had it for two years, but it's one of those where you just had to wait for the yeah. right customer okay what? most of you never heard of it after we're done go check out some of the scenes on youtube holy cow it is awful and i love it but <laughs> someone finally came by they offered 35 i said to myself i'm not selling for less than 50 or i'll keep it i counted with 50 and they took it now what's the writing down the side is that um, it's an import it's a japanese import japanese. okay that's what i yep. thought oh it says right there in the title if i just okay everyone it. knows this soundtrack to empire strikes back Fifty dollars. I paid fifteen bucks at a store in uh, Wisconsin. It was listed for about three weeks and sold for fifty dollars. I did get fifty because it is sealed. Mm -hmm. That's why I got fifty for it. And I know you love Tucker. <laughs> 
Now, yeah. I always want to show when I hit a big one from the thrift store because I do buy a lot of stuff from record stores. But look, any one of us could have found Tucka for one ninety nine at Savers and then got fifty bucks for Tucka. Wow. And those bucks. are kind of easy to see because you know we know people that anybody I know most likely it's not going to be worth anything most most of the time. But things like this I've never heard of. Those are the ones that catch your eye, and yep. then you can scan them. Those are the ones you want to look up and be like, mm, "I'll buy this for a buck ninety nine. Yes. Sadly. <laughs> And now it's time for our duds of the week. Do not let our mistakes be yours. Okay, we these were given to us free. A friend gave us a lot of her stamps. And I always say they're really hard to sell. This was listed since 2017. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it's a running theme tonight. <laughs> I know. It's like it's eBay's like, okay, here, we're tired of 2017 in your store. We're going to start sending these out. And people are going to start buying them. So a lady sent us an offer. She goes, uh, will you take $13 with free shipping? And Bill was, I said, yes, get rid of it. <laughs> so for We put them in padded flat rate at like, what, 750 something. And off they went. We, you know, it was free anyway, but I'm glad that somebody's going to enjoy them. That is hilarious. Now, it, is this from the same time frame? Uh, maybe even earlier. <laughs> it's a cool shirt, but yeah, what is this? label mr goo goo and mrs go and miss go yeah i found it in a, in a thrift store and i thought this is so cool but oh my gosh i finally relisted it in april of this year and um let's see bill sent out an offer of 18 dollars, and somebody bought it those offers do work sending them out i was happy to see that one go too oh and i don't even know i think i paid three bucks for that one all right. When I make mistakes on uh, media, I do like to share with you just to show that I'm human too when it comes to media. This was from Record Store Day. This is the first Record Store Day where I've sold every single thing right away except for one thing. I bought three of these ACDCs and then they were hot the night before and they became not hot after I bought them. And I paid 22 for it and I sold it for 18 That's not the way it's supposed to work. I made a shit ton of money off of the 30 two other ones and i lost a couple bucks on the three acdcs so it worked out and that's kind of the game you play you got to figure out what's going to be hot but yeah. some don't work and then you just you know you don't get sad you just roll on yeah how many stores did that take you to go to to get all your we hit four and the last one was a waste the last one's been a waste the last three uh record store days so we're just doing three next one because i'm tired of waiting to for a store to open that never turns out to be anything good and now it's time for where in the world did our stuff go if you are not shipping internationally you are leaving out 7.3 billion with a b potential customers out of the whole worldwide this went to peterborough ontario canada pigathon isn't it cute and it was listed since 2019 but it sold for 12.99 and went to Canada. So. I mean, th this timing could have been any better. You start talking and David goes, hello from Canada. Before, <laughs> before this slide came up, I'm like, oh whoa, God. that was weird. Happy Canada Day. Uh, now that's, you know, that's cute. That's fine. That seems normal. I got, an, I got one for you to make you scratch your head. Uh-oh. Rugby, England, about an hour and a half north of London, population 100,000. Someone needed a Cleveland Browns button-down shirt. No way. Like jerseys are one thing, uh, which I can kind of <laughs> understand, but a button down shirt and it's June. I'm like, what? So this proves that you should list your stuff everywhere because you never know when in a little town called rugby, someone said, you know what I need right now? I need a Cleveland Brown shirt and double X and Brown. Wow. Is there a, a logo on the back, a design on the back? Nope. That's it. You're seeing the whole shirt. <laughs> and I got like 35 bucks for it. So yay. That's nice. <laughs> yay for me plus shipping so yeah there we go Double okay. yay. Ah! and now it's time for you have got to be shipping me what to do and what not to do when it comes to shipping well my little lady that had to go out i knew she was sturdy but she could still break um so i was kind of concerned so i wrapped her in tissue and bubble wrap and then we all talk about pool noodles so I put pool noodles, I cut them in half and put them on the bottom, put her in the middle, 
little bit of paper there to even it out and then cut some little pieces off to put on the end. So she was all snug as a bug. And that was the feedback the lady said, great stuff. And then I used a regional A. So make sure you have regional A boxes because they can save us money. And she arrived safely. And so do you remember what the regional A cost you? I don't. Um, I mean, we always check because, you know, you have to be in your zone, close enough to your zone. It gets too expensive from the from east, uh, West Coast to East Coast. So I would say maybe around 15 or something. I can't remember. I don't know. I should have I should have researched that. All right. So we talked about this tiki mug I bought in the uh, tips last week for when you're sourcing because in the guy's listing, he said, I have quantity. And I said, how many? And I so he sold me 10 for 100 bucks. So I got the 10 mugs uh, to my house and this is the box. Wow. So as you can see, no padding really. And so what I have covered in the picture is the only bit of padding. So he just stacked two, 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 two wow. with no padding. And you ready to see what padding he used to fill the void? Oh no. <laughs> this, this is it. This oh. is not, this is not, this is not a pool noodle. This is not strong. I, I was so shocked it made it because the box ain't big. I'm like, holy crap, there's 10 mugs in that box. And when I like, why even put this in? This didn't do anything. Wow. Now, is, is there styrofoam in each box? Nope. They're just sitting in there like that naked? They come in that little thin bubble like sleeve that's not real thick. Okay. So that's it. That's it. There's no other padding except for this. That was a miracle. And none of them broke. None of them broke. Wow. But this is not packing material. I would have almost been afraid to pull it out. It kind of looks like a snake coiled. In I it. open the box. And I start laughing. I go, <laughs> why, why even bother at this point? <laughs> wow. Well, that's a miracle. So yes, they made it, but don't, don't tempt fate is what the, the, the tip tonight wow. is. Do not tempt fate. No, because and now it's time for the thrifty tips of the week. Little tips and tricks to help you out when you're outsourcing. Okay. Sorry, Deb, go ahead. What were you saying? Oh, I was it. I forgot. Oh, I think I, I said, said don't tempt fate. We could have all broken. Every single one oh, of those. Oh, absolutely. They all could have broken. Wow. <laughs> um, okay. So after the year we've had, a lot of businesses no longer exist. We were down in Pacifica and I told Bill, oh, let's go to Berlin game and go to the bin. So I thought, smart, think, what are the hours? Are they still open? And I Googled, but I happened to catch a comment that somebody put and they moved. We would have driven another half hour to Burlingame and they were, they're not there anymore. They moved. So always check before you're going to go, even though you've been there before and you think no sweat, they're still there. You better double check. And in the comments, the person said, well, there's a line now. When we, when we used to go to Burlingame, there were never any lines. So we got there. This is in San, South San Francisco. We got there. There was a line and they'd warned there's no parking. I looked at my husband and he was steam was coming out of his eyes. <laughs> because <laughs> in South, South San Francisco, we were there about 1230 and they were going to close at three o'clock anyway. And that it's a nightmare to get out of the city. So I said, let's just go home. So now we know to, when we go back where it's at, but do check because so many times a, an address will come up for a thrift store, but they're not there anymore. So check, check, check. All right. So <clears throat> I happen to be following things that told me all of these. I got none of them, but limited edition things come out tied to famous people, the famous mm -hmm. movies. And if you're kind of on top of pop culture, you should be grabbing this stuff. Now, my stupidity, I was sharing this with John Lawson, not that either one of us wear makeup, but Urban Decay came out with this whole Prince Vault collection line. And it was like purple uh, rain uh, mascara and uh, cool stuff. And he got one. And while I was talking to him about it, I went to get mine. And it was already sold out. No, don't you know the golden rule? You get I, your I, I blew it. I blew it. So so that was two fifty. dollars Someone already resold it for three thirty-eight. dollars Okay. Not the biggest profit. But around the same week, Lucky Charms came out with Loki Charms. Oh, I don't have the picture. I'll show you the picture in a second for the release of Loki on Disney Plus. And I'm sure the box of cereal, oh, <laughs> I'm sure the box of cereal didn't cost much, but now it's yeah. reselling for 80 bucks on eBay. And oh. hey, isn't that lovely carpet they took the picture on? Is that not a, it's not a granite counter? Maybe I was hoping. Oh, you know what? It might be. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. But what a weird angle to take that picture. Yeah. <laughs> And oh my gosh! And Kanye West had this ridiculous-looking jacket 
uh, his new line with a gap, $200 sold out like that. So if you're paying attention to pop culture, if you're paying attention to famous designers like Kanye, if you're paying attention to when uh, Crocs drop, there's a Hidden Valley Ranch Croc dropping next week. No way. <laughs> yeah. So if you pay attention to those things and you can get them quick because all these things are limited and they always sell out, there's always a return on your money. Sometimes bigger than others. Like that person made about 60 bucks on the makeup, but I'm guessing the person made about 50 bucks on one box of cereal. So, you know, oh, but, but you got to keep your eyes peeled. Uh, yeah. Yeezy equals big money. Heck yeah, cat. So these are the kind of things that you should be paying attention to. If they're not in your wheelhouse, they're not in your norm, start paying attention. If you see General Mills is dropping a limited edition Marvel Disney thing, get it. Get it immediately. Don't talk to your friend and show them the link. Buy it first, <laughs> then send it to your friend. Because by the time I went to buy it, it was gone. So oh, cool. well, at least you had did a nice thing for your super great friend. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So now what's your favorite site, website to keep track of all this? Nothing specific. You just got to, you know, I, I look at like TMZ. I, I read news blurbs. I get things, you know. So it's That's one of the things cool. where you're just kind of bouncing around the internet, paying attention to what's going on because – None of these things would be in the same place. I buy yeah. stuff from Prince, so I get emails. That's how I saw the makeup. Oh, okay. The Loki thing was on talked about on a radio show, so right away I went, and by the time I heard it, had already sold out. And the easy thing dropped, and it sold out so quick I didn't get a chance. But you just got to open your ears and eyes and listen for things. And buy first before you tell your friends. And yes. And now it's time for our online selling tips of the week. It doesn't matter if you're selling on Etsy, Depop, Macari, Poshmark, or eBay. These are little tips and tricks to help you when you're selling. Okay. If you go over on your seller hub and you go over to the right where it says reports and click on that, all this great information comes up. So take the time to read through all these articles and everything that eBay has there for you. It's all right there ready, just waiting for you at your leisure. So what kind of, what kind of reports are they? Um, I can't really remember. I can't see it's too small. <laughs> <laughs> I clicked on one of them. Um, yeah, there's just all kinds of information there for you. All right. So Debbie's not sure what the report is, but go there. <laughs> you need it. It's important. All right. If you haven't heard eBay open, uh, online only this year is live. And so if you haven't signed up, sign up. They were giving away swag to the first 5,000 people. I would imagine 5,000 people signed up already, but you never know. So go get signed up, uh, you know, when we're done here. Uh, and I, I was going to have the link, but it's just super easy. Just Google eBay open. It'll be the first thing. Click the link and get signed up. It's free. Yay. Free. Not as much fun as being in person with all of our friends. But true. Very true. We still learn. And now it's time for Unseasonably Sold. What did you sell out of season? Ah, I sold a Christmas tiki bowl with Santa in there. What'd you get? Uh, we sold it for full asking price. It's not, so oh, this yeah. is where this is where the student has become the master because I sold mine recently for not as much. Yeah. Well, yeah, our full asking price, $149.99. So you bested um, me by I think $35. Score. But of course we paid $70. You know, we paid up. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. me too. Um, and of course, we have one in our personal collection. But you so just that is know. that is Santa and uh, Rudolph sitting in a hot tub drinking tiki drinks, and yeah. that's a bowl you fill in a big drink, and so you and a couple of friends can have a drink together. And they only sell them at Sip and Santa time during Christmas time. They have a Sip and Santa at some of the tiki bars. That's See, Elisa, cool. if you weren't sending me pictures of freak e neck Celine Dion. <laughs> You would have heard what we just talked about signing for. So no one tell no one tell Lisa. She's not paying attention. <laughs> you have to watch the replay. Okay. I only showed you one dud because my other dud is unseasonably sold. Someone in the hottest day of the year said, you know what I need? Rick Springfield Christmas with you. Now, I paid $449 and I sold it for $342. That's not how it's supposed to work. Oh. So it's a dud and unseasonably sold. So just uh, as a heads up, sometimes they don't work out. Have you ever watched like a winter snow movie when you're just melting hot and all of a sudden you're not so hot anymore? Never. Yeah, I, I, happened to I me. watch watching, Christmas stuff at Christmas time. I'm watching deep snow movie. I'm like, oh, I need a blanket, even though it's hot. So maybe Christmas cooled them down. 
But remember, people are doing plays and films and all kinds of things now, and they're looking for stuff. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they're funny, sometimes they're angry, and sometimes they're just plain weird. Now it's time for the feedback of the week. Okay, this is my for my husband. For my He sells comics for my brother. Very rarely on eBay do you get comic books shipped this professionally, securely, and quickly. Highly recommended seller. And let me tell you, he sweats when he gets all these auctions and they're all in, you know, and gets them all packed. So next time he does one, I'm going to film or get some pictures to show you how he really does it. And we, he cut, we cut cardboard and we do all kinds of things. But this buyer was very happy. Joel, were you the one who bought it from me? So Joel said he just bought that CD. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wanted to share with an offer I got for you. These are two promo Glenn Fry CDs. And yes, my assistant somehow spelled Glenn correctly with two N's and missed the E in Fry. And we had a little conversation about that. But look at his offer. Thank you for considering my offer. I am not trying to insult you with my counter offer. That is all I'm willing to pay for a luxury item. Glenn Fry CDs are a luxury item to this person. Uh, may the peace and blessings of the Lord be with you. Peace on earth. Oh. Good he offered oh, okay. me seven bucks. These were not big Glenn Fry. They were not worth a ton. That's why I put them together. I'm like, oh, I'll take seven bucks. And look at the nice feedback he left me. Lightning quick shipping, a smooth transaction from beginning to end. I can recommend this seller 100%. Please shop his items. You can buy with confidence. May the peace and blessings of the Lord be with you. Oh. Peace on earth. Goodwill to all. Okay. I have not yet got a feedback that I didn't like with this extended feedback. And so when people were crying and whining about it, if people can leave me feedbacks like this, I love it. Like, yes. tell, tell the world I'm awesome, please. Yes, agree. <laughs> That's nice. That's sweet. Awesome. All right. Before we get uh, to Vela in here, let's talk about a couple quick things. Let's do a little housekeeping first. Right now. Okay. If you haven't watched last week's yet, go back and watch it. Uh, Kelly works at a pawn shop up in Reno and tons of great stories. Plus the story of what she bought that she shouldn't have bought, but then it was cool when it got picked up. You know, she bought an item that bottomed out, bottomed out her car when it got loaded. So uh, if you haven't seen that episode, go back and watch it. Yes. And I did a Tiki Mug unboxing video this week. If you haven't watched it yet, please watch it. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. One of the mugs didn't make it. So take a look at that. See what not to do. Brr. Sad. Yep. And... Do you glue them back together when you get them like that? Or do you just Sometimes. Okay. We don't have a show this Sunday because, hey, July 4th. Happy yeah. July 4th, everybody. But we've already figured out next Sunday, mom is doing so well selling media. She bought another huge lot of CDs oh. and cassettes. And you all kind of dug it last time she went through it. And I helped her sort it into singles and groups. And so we're going to do that again. So those of you who are still having some trepidation about selling music, Again, I'll show you kind of how we separate them into, do we sell this by itself or do we sell it into groups? Now, we've all been saying in the chat, Christmas in July. Well, that's our guest next week. Ginny is our resident expert when it comes to all things Christmas and Santa. And yes, Christmas in July is a thing and it's a big thing. And so uh, we're going to have Ginny on to talk about what we should be looking for, what we should be selling. And uh, we do talk about obviously every week usually. So that should be fun. Oh, that's for tonight. Yeah. And then, not this Friday, not tomorrow because of the holiday, but next Friday, Nadine's show, What is the Coconut Girl Aesthetic? And since we're talking about Coconut Girls, you know who she asked? She asked Big Girl to come be an expert on the show. Of course. So Coconut Girl is a whole new thing for the younger generation, and Tiki kind of bleeds into it. <clears throat> so we're going to talk about that on Nadine's channel, uh, Nalo's Thrift Talk, next week. So we will have a post up in the thrifting board but I just wanted to let you know cool. that is what we're talking about on a show. All right, let's see if I can pull this off today. I have yet to get this right. All right, here we go. And now it's time for the Thrifty Business Special Guest of the Week. <laughs> oh, so close. Hey. close. I've got to figure that out. <laughs> I think you did great. Or, or do you guys like watching me just fumble and fail the whole time? <laughs> It took me back to was it Mr. Green Beans that uh, Captain Kangaroo would have his guest come in? Mr. Green Jeans? Mr. Green Jeans, yeah. Green Jeans, yeah. Captain King. I thought he was saying green beans. Of course I was little, so get out of here. You you want you want you ready everyone ready to poop their pants? Uh oh. 
So we just talked about the coconut girl aesthetic. And that's what we're talking about. Just a second. I saw the Hawaiian CD. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just that. I put it out to the universe. We're going to talk about that. Boom. Sold. Now, is it a $4 or a hundred dollar? Let's say here. 20 bucks. $20. I'll take it. Nice. All right. All right, T, are you ready? Are you excited? I, oh, I'm something. I'm not <laughs> sure exactly what, but. All right, so uh, let's give a, a little bit of a history. How long have you been selling online? Oh, wow. Um, probably seven years, but not, not really into it until the last few years. Okay. And, and what, what made you make that leap seven years ago? I love sourcing and I love finding stuff. And I had idly sold some things on eBay. I had been a buyer and then I just thought, well, why not try selling? But I didn't get a store until about four years ago. Okay. All right. And then you joined the secret <clears throat> beach this year yes. and you've been a good student because looking through your store <laughs> now of course i didn't see your store pre join the secret oh. beach but you told me you've been working hard and yes i some stores they find a lot of stuff to, to work and, yep. and help and fix yours not so much uh so i can see how things you have cleaned up things your pictures yes. look nice and so we're, we're gonna talk about a few things tonight uh but the one thing i want to uh impress upon everyone is if you haven't if you haven't stepped back and looked at your store in a while, you should, because I'm going to show some things that until someone other's eyes see it, you'll never yeah. notice because you don't go back ever and look at your own store. You list your stuff and you move on. You list more stuff and you, and you ship and you move on. So if you don't look back at your store ever, you might not see the errors. Some that are yours personally and some the platform hiccup and screwed up your listing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I actually have been looking at my store a fair amount because of things that I've learned in the secret beach. So if anybody is out there and thinking about doing that, I would really recommend that you invest in your sales by joining the secret beach because I made so many changes. Well, well thank you very much. Yeah, so each, each month I do a webinar. We have a guest expert do a webinar. We do Monday uh, evening uh, store reviews. And uh, we have some cocktail parties, oh, oh. <laughs> well, but everything I've done since the beginning is still there. And so is every guest expert. So if you join this week, there are 55 of my webinars and 55 guest webinars for you to watch at your leisure, including all my flipping CDs, all my flipping cassettes, all my flipping records. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, I will put the link in the chat if anyone is interested. Plus you can message me if you want more info later, later, the seek. And we've even been on two cruises together. Yes, we have. Of course, we paid. All right. Them. So, uh, what's your store name? Max L Y two. Max Lee two. What, what's that mean? It should be Max Lee to market. I don't know. Well, what that's your. Yeah, uh, you're right. So that's your eBay ID, and so your store and your eBay will be different. So okay. Max Lee to market, and yeah. so you just turned it to Max Lee two. Yeah. Um. I and that's. You know, through logging in and losing logins, I had to put the two in there. And what Maxley comes from is at the time I had a cat named Max and I had a cat named Molly. So I combined their names. And then when I got the store, I was trying to think of something. So I just put two market. Nice. All right. So uh, this is your front, uh, the front of your store. Yeah. And I'm going to say a couple things you need to fix. And Debbie's going to say one thing you need to fix. So let's go to my store. Yeah. See, the, uh, Nadine is our resident graphics expert, and she can make graphics for you. And so you should have a nice header, and you should have a nice little avatar. So if we go back. She has a nice There you avatar. go. Now, you can borrow some artwork, or you could have something custom made for yourself. Or if you're handy, if you have the talent, make your own artwork. Uh, but the other thing is, all right, Deb, what else does she need? All those great, awesome keywords in there. I sell books, jewelry, Hawaiian moo's and tiki mugs. All those are search engine optimized 
as, as they should still be anyway. But yeah, you put all those great keywords in there and it helps draw traffic to your store. And it makes it okay. look, you know, inviting. Like I say, hey, we, yep. we love our customers. And so it's it's just, it's it's there, it's free. eBay provides it for a reason. So okay. it's very easy to get into the back end of your store and add those in there. Okay. Yep. So you write this little blurb and you write with all the stuff you normally sell. Okay. And don't be specific, specific, but like tiki's, DVDs, CDs, that stuff. And you have this area if someone comes into your store through the front door to have four featured items. Yeah. And so uh, I always do four different things. So I got a tiki mug, a collectible Star Wars plate, a badass leather jacket I wish it was a smidge longer, and cow juice creamer homemade Americana right there for your kitchen. <laughs> so, uh, and when you sell a featured item, make sure to put a new featured item in there. So, and a matter of fact, I think a guy just messaged me. He wants to buy that tiki mug. So. <laughs> Yay. And so that just comes as part of your store. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So you go into edit your store and uh, this is the first thing you, you just click there. There's a plus button. You click on it, takes you to your listed items and you just scroll through and figure out, figure out some, um, uh, Photogenic type ones. Don't put plain okay. ones in there, you know? Yeah. Maybe your higher priced items too. Okay. All right. So here's your store. Now I will say there's a glitch in eBay right now. So this is uh let's go through your 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 seller ID. Now watch this. Okay, so we're gonna go items for sale. So we were playing with this today. Okay, here's page one of all your stuff for sale. Now watch what happens when we click on page two. Oh, it worked. I told you it was so earlier good. today. It yeah. was an error on everyone's store when you went to page two. Yeah, it was freaky. It's like, yeah, so we there. were like, crap. We found we found our workaround, but yeah, it, you're right, Deb. It did fix it pretty quick. Okay, cool. Never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> Just know right. that if that happens, it's coming back. Okay, so overall, actually, let's bring this back up here. It's just scrolling through. Your pictures are all very good. Yes. You're close. You're on your object. You should not have this massive white wasted space around your items. Okay. Uh, so good job on that. What I would recommend is when you have a very light item like this uh, uh, demi demi uh, mug uh, cup, whatever you want to call it. So it's white and then it's got this light blue. Okay. It kind of gets lost on the white background. Now, most of us are watching this show on a monitor or some of us are on the big TV. Hi, everybody on the TV. So you can see it very nicely. Think about the people shopping on their phone. And there are people that have old iPhones. Plus, Stacy has the modern 12, but the tiny one because stacy has got tiny hands. I do too. And you got to think about people on tiny phones. Now, let me show you how I do a light white mug. Mmm. Okay. Look how nice it pops on a black. Now, what you want to do is go to your local uh, fabric store, like uh, Hobby Lobby or Joanne or where those things are called. And I took an item and I kept pulling out their black velvets. And I would take a picture and then I'd walk away and look at it. Then I pull out the next black velvet. So I like the one that had the, the best look to it. And I took it up there and I said, here, cut me like, you know, five yards of this stuff. And then boom. Any Now, look, before, before you go to the chat, uh, I know that eBay and Google says white backgrounds, but I say hogwash. You cannot take a pair of a picture of white jeans on a white background. It shows absolutely nothing. So use a white or a light gray for the normal stuff, but anything very light or white colored have that dark background. Yes. Yeah. Walmart's got fabric. Yeah. Anywhere you buy fabric, but I want, I want to go to a place that had a lot of different blacks. So I could play with it. I didn't just I didn't just grab a black. I looked at them. I took a picture. I took the item in the store. I got a lot of weird looks in the fabric department, but I'm like, hey, I'm working here because I want to find the best background for my items. Okay, so you almost almost never. Actually, I'm going to show you when you should do it. Let me bring that back up here. Need to repeat words. So you have Eric Bibb friends, CD signed by Eric Bibb. Okay. Oh. We can shorten all that up and put autographed Eric Bibb friends CD. That way you got all the words. It still reads the way you want to autograph Eric Bibb. Uh, but that way you're not having to put, you can get rid of the words by and the second Eric Bibb. Okay. Uh, because Eric's on the CD with a lot of people, which good job. You put Odetta, Charlie Musselwhite and Taj Mahal. Uh, but also get rid of all those capitalized words. You don't need capitalized words. Really? Yeah. 
Okay. Well, adding the other people in absolutely learned from you. So I, I've been trying to do that. But why no caps? So Google does not like <laughs> things that are written in all caps and they tend to suppress it. So when people are coming through eBay, not a problem. If someone's Googling Eric Bibb friends CD uh, through Google, Google will suppress things that have all caps. Plus okay. people feel like you're screaming at them. Well, I maybe not so much in this one. I can see where that, but like in some of my, um, I have some needlepoint kits, et cetera. And I put the title in caps because before I had quote marks around them. Now and I learned, <laughs> once again, not to do that. Um, and then the other thing, too, is people with um, not the best eyesight, words written in all caps, since now they're all the same height, they have a hard time reading it. Okay. And so you don't ever want to make it hard. Now, here's when I do put all caps. If there is something that has damage, I'll write like damage or okay. torn in the title, all caps. Or if I can fit in C video, if something I want people to know is there's a video in the listing. I will put C video. Okay. Uh, I would add, now that you're going to have more space, I would add lead. Where's my mouse? Come back here, mouse. Lead Ka'apana. He's a, a Hawaiian artist okay. and a pretty big deal in the Hawaiian scene. So that'd be a good one to add to your title. I'm sure the rest of these artists are fine, but I recognize Taj Mahal. I recognize Charlie Musselwhite and I recognize lead too. So that's the one you'd want to add to your title. And I knew some of those. And this was another CD from Taking Your Class that I picked up. It was sealed. It was signed. I, I didn't really know them. And I just said, I'm going to try it for 99 cents. Job. All right. So now let's talk shipping because that's the big thing for everybody. Okay. For starters, you're not covering yourself with only this 380 if it's got to go far. Now, most every CD, most weighs four ounces. Some have really yeah. thick books that might push it to five. And then you got the fatty doubles that would go like six and seven ounces. And so if you went to the East Coast, because you live on the West Coast, uh, uh, if you went to the East Coast and it was uh, five ounces, it'd be 385. You'd lose a nickel. Okay. Now, there's no point in losing a nickel. Right. Now, if you got to be competitive with other people in a in a, a product that a lot of people have and you want to do like a free shipping, I understand that. But this you have an autograph CD. So if someone's a fan of that guy, they'll pay the normal shipping. So don't okay. don't price yourself where you could lose money. Okay. Yeah. Uh and uh, I want to say real quick hi to Becky. Becky, I, I saw your message. I've been so busy today prepping this show. I will get back to you. I am not ignoring you. Thank you. All right. Uh, I want to back up one thing, though. When I said don't repeat words, sometimes you have to. So on these tiki mugs, when people do searches, sometimes they use quotes. And when you use quotes, for those you don't know, that means you want to see only searches where these two words are next to each other. So if someone writes, and I'll show you guys in a second, quote, tiki mug, quote, the words tiki mug have to be together. So I got to have tiki mug in my listing. OK, and then this is from Frankie's Tiki Room. And again, if someone does the quotes for Frankie's Tiki Room, I can't leave that tiki out of it or mine won't show up. Makes sense. And so the word tiki and then unfortunately, I didn't have room in this title. <laughs> this is made by Tiki Farm. So usually there'll be three tikis in this only because oh. of the flow and the way people search. OK, so if we do Tiki Mug by itself. With no quotes, 6,558. If we put the quotes on, 3,864. So that are listings that have the words Tiki and Mug next to each other. Okay? So you want to make sure. Now, not everyone does nerd searches like I do, but plenty of us do that. And so you want to make sure you, when you write a listing that if you have to repeat a word, in this case, Frankie's Tiki Room, Tiki Mug, I have to repeat the word because people are going to search those things specifically. But with Eric Bibb, you got his name in there. You don't need the repeat of the name. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Or did I just go way to a nerd? No. <laughs> hey, we want to learn the best way to do it. Did I go well. to a nerd? That's what I'm <laughs> that's what I'm wondering. We might have to watch it a couple times, but <laughs> okay. Now the other thing, and this is where I want to show the numbers. I recommend you don't have to use global shipping. You can ship internationally on yourself, on yourself, on your own. 
I've been doing it for 21 years and I taught myself how to do it back when you had to fill out this thing and then stand in line and then they had to tear the thing off and then they had to stamp it and then they had to give it to you. Nowadays, it's easy because everything just comes up automatically like a domestic shipping label and an international shipping label. Spit out your label printer. Super duper easy. And so let's see what it costs. If uh, So we have a lot of Canadians tonight. So you lucked out, T, because I was going to talk about Canada, and all these Canadians showed up. So yay. <laughs> Hello, friends to the north. Okay. So with global shipping, to ship a four-ounce CD to Canada, if you bought it from Tavella, 1882. That's obscene. Okay? Because the actual price, when you use pirate ship simple export rate, is eight dollars and 49 cents oh wow okay so they are going to be charged by ebay 18 dollars and 82 cents and then they're going to collect the vat the the custom duties on top of it and oftentimes when you ship to canada when i ship to canada direct oftentimes it doesn't even stop and get charged the the duties the way you sell it it's automatically charged the duties plus they charge too much for shipping so our Canadian friends in the chat, who would you buy from? Me? Now, I do. Now, here's the other part of it. So let's look at mine. I charge $12.99. I'm already $6 less than you. Plus, then the VAT's going to get put on top. And I charge $12.99, and it only costs $8.49. So guess what? I put 4 bucks in my pocket. Smart. So when you use global shipping, you don't get any extra money. But look, the customer is going to say, holy shit, Jason's way cheaper than Tavella. I'm buying from him. And they don't have to know because I figured out the best way to ship that I'm getting four bucks in my pocket. And so that four bucks on those international ones, and I sell a lot of international, pays for all my shipping supplies. Every month, at the end of the month, I take in about 200 to $250 on shipping. But I have great rates. And so that 200 a month, that pays for all my labels, all my uh, envelopes, all the stuff. Smart. Now, you and, said that sometimes yours gets through and they don't charge VAT. Right. So Christine said, if under 50 value, no VAT. Okay. eBay taxes on automatically. It's stupid. Stupid. Okay. okay. And, well, and, and uh, Lewis says, yes, I will, I will not buy because of $23 shipping, which is what Tavella CD would work out to be about $23. So they're adding shipping plus the value of the item together. Right. So okay. essentially I'm coming in at half price and I'm, and I'm making four bucks. Yeah. When now, I switched over my international sales picked up, obviously. Yeah. Now does that excite you to value? You ready to just make the switch? Make yeah. The I just, you know, I've just been chicken to do it. Um, I, I have curious. been putting Canada on some things and like putting a rate of $17, but I've got to get better. Obviously. Yeah, so twelve ninety nine for a CD. It only costs eight forty nine. Boom, it's easy peasy because okay. the label is going to spit out just like a domestic label would. Nothing else to do. Okay, you're dropped off the same way. Easy peasy. All right, all right. Let's clean up where we were at. Oh. Okay, let's see. Now, Debbie and Tavella have both watched many of my things. What do you think I'm going to say to you on this one? Well, something about the photograph. Yes, but what exactly? Too much white space? Mm, no. Debbie, what do you think? Um, put it on a mannequin? Yes, that is my LLC, big girl, because all my friends call me big girl. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, very good. If you have a mannequin, you got okay. any bag, any crossbody bag, any backpack, take the normal pictures like you would, but then throw on the mannequin because people like to see where like the purse will hang. Okay. I'm tall. And when I buy a crossbody bag, it's got to hang low. And I like it hanging low like Han Solo Wars blaster low on his leg. Okay. Same deal. Would you would you put that as your lead photograph? So for mine. Uh, let's see. Was that our lead? Yep, that's our lead. Okay. And then we have shots of it sitting on the table, open, blah, 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 blah. You know, the shots you had, and there was nothing wrong with the shots you had, but I love adding the aspect, if you have the mannequin, especially if you've got the mannequin with arms, it helps too, 
Uh, but any backpack too, because some backpacks are short, some are longer. And so when you put the backpack on a mannequin, take the side shot so people can see where it goes and then take the back shot to see to show where it is. Now, of course, you're, you, you as a buyer might not be as tall as this mannequin, but at least paints a picture in the buyer's brain. Okay. Good idea. Yeah. So there's nothing actually wrong with your pictures. They're fine. They're absolutely mm -hmm. fine. But just throw that little added aspect into it. Okay. Yeah. Cause that actually is pretty short. So. Right. And so good idea. I've gotten so many bags where I'm like, oh, they're too short. Like but it looks it long. Good. The way it's hanging, I would think it looks long. Yeah. And I just didn't even see this earlier. Take take the dust cover bag and take a picture of it next to the purse and just fill it with some air pillows to make it full just so it looks really nice. Okay. So fill that bag up. Anytime you got to show a bag like this, fill it up with some scrap bubbles, some air pillows, whatever, just to make it look like it's not sad and deflated. Okay. Thanks. And by the way, if anyone needs a simply, oh, what happened? <laughs> anyone needs a simply Vera Wang uh, cute uh, gray purse with a cute chain? It's on sale right now, and I'll I'll happily take twenty five bucks. Tiki Pug Music, come get it. <laughs> All right, Debbie and I have the same note. <laughs> Class, and I'll go to the chat. Is this a tiki? No, I well, know it's while not. While we wait for answers, let me drink out of a tiki. Right. So the reason you don't want to use Tiki, because it isn't one, is because when you use an improper term for an item that isn't it at all, and the people looking for those items and you're in the mix, people get angry. And so anytime a customer has a bad buying experience on any platform, they might not come back. Okay. And people will be more apt to tell their friends, eBay sucks. Because if you go into any other Facebook group, uh, eBay's horrible. It's the worst place in the world. Yeah. But no one goes, oh my God, I got the best Tiki mug because there wasn't anything, there was no issue. They just bought it. You're right. So uh, Angelique said, I want to see someone drink out of that. So what this is for is you put the milk in the top and you set the cookies in the mouth and you take the cookies out and you dunk them in the top. It's pretty cool, actually. And I must have used somebody else's listing and didn't clean it up because I know that's not a Tiki. So, Yeah. All right. So what was your gut feeling when you saw this, Deb? Um, well, the white, the white on the white. Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm thinking, even I still have to ask Jason sometimes, is this Tiki? And I knew this was not. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I knew now, it was not. Now, what I would do is if you have a couple chocolate chips laying around, uh, cookies, I would actually stick them in the mouth. Because, again, some people yeah. have a real hard time painting the visual in their head if they can't see it. Okay. Yeah, when I saw it, I didn't even think about, oh, the lick was going to come running out of his mouth. I didn't pay attention. And then be funny oh. and put down in your description, put uh, cookies not included because I ate them. Just be funny <laughs> about it because then you'll get the customer to laugh a little bit. That's funny. Okay. And then let it's us know. Right idea. When you change it, we'll be watching and see if it sells for you. Because you did you say you've had it listed a while? No, that one isn't too old. Uh, <laughs> That's in the last couple of months. And I just, I, I actually, I got that after Peggy did her show. Oh, because okay. I, I really like doing coffee mugs. Um, and I was like, mm, are these making any money? And I'll tell you something. I have a huge collection of Starbucks mugs. That is a reason not to leave things on your death pile because I had prices when I did my research and then I put them away and they've been away for four years. They're not nearly worth as much. They're yeah. not worth as much. Jason, yeah. I have to tell you, actually, I just realized when I first looked at this, you know what I envisioned being in his mouth? A roll of a ball of string. <laughs> no. Bite your okay. tongue. Yeah, see, Christine said, if you look at the other ones, because eBay shows other ones like that, no no one put a cookie in there. Yeah, You'll be the only one. Figure out yeah. how to stand out in a crowded field. That's kind of a yeah. big tip. Yeah. All right, yeah. speaking of Starbucks. Uh-oh. Okay, this is a tricky one because it is such a big graphic. It's Pike Place, Pike Place Market. But if you're unsure about that, of course, you can read your title. But really, all we can see is E place mark. Okay? okay. And so when you have an item that you cannot get everything in the opening shot, 
that is when you make a collage. Ooh, yes. So if you if anyone watching hasn't done a collage yet, go to your app store, go to Pick Collage, P-I-C Collage, download it, and then it is super duper easy to make collages. If you don't know how, we've done it on Selling Past Your Expiration Date, being thrifty over 50, so just go back and find that episode. But look at this. I got the front, the side, the side, so we can see the whole thing written out, the back and the bottom to show everything okay. in, one, in the opening shot. Of course, have all the other shots, but that opening shot then paints the entire picture. Paints so nice. That's so eye-catching. I've been doing that with a lot of my Tiki mugs because most of them have the place they're from on the back and then the maker's mark on the bottom. So I go front, a smaller, a little bit smaller back, and then at the bottom, I, I show the bottom like I did on yours. Okay. Yeah, because I've got a couple. I just listed these in the last couple of days. And there's one for Houston that you can't see anything on it. Yeah. yeah. So that's when collages come in handy. Okay. I had the little color because I think the color adds a nice little pop to it. You don't have to do that. You can just have a white background. Uh, but uh, I always add a little bit of a color pop to it. It looks like what you would see in a catalog. It looks yeah. really nice. Okay. So on the, on the preview, I laugh super hard at the next thing. So I think... And I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, I, don't I didn't even tell Debbie. Okay. Right. Ready? <laughs> we are ready. Okay, for starters. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I got Ajita. You got it on a hanger, but you put it on the carpet? <laughs> yeah, I, I had to leave that one in so you could really criticize something. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not even the part I really want to talk about. Of course, that's what caught my eye. Okay, don't use the floor. If you only have the floor, put down a white poster board. That way we don't know what's on your floor because people hate seeing stuff on the floor, especially yeah. like things they're about to wear. Yes. All right. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -mm. Let's okay. This is the best ever, <laughs> and and this is all in fun and, and learning. Let's look at your description. Are you ready? Uh huh. Do measurements. <laughs> 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 Me thinks someone forgot to do the measurements. You thinks would be right. <laughs> and you know what's funny on that is I have like three watchers on those pants. But this is, one, this is proof positive that if you don't ever step back and look or have have a friend, hey, go look at my store and just wander around. You would you totally forgot you didn't do this. Uh do measurements. Well, uh, now they're not in her um, specifics, are they? She didn't put it. In she has like specifics. Those were good. But she didn't but, put her measurements in there. I was just I curious. Didn't, I, no. She didn't do no. them at all. Okay. Okay. I actually like this picture way better as your opening shot. It feels okay. the shot better. We're not okay. seeing the, the rest of the house. But when I click on the let's magnify this, yikes, let's get a lint roller and get all these hairs off. Okay. So all I don't right. know if it's, if it's my beard hairs that fall out everywhere or if you got a cat or a dog. But make sure you yep. always have a lit roller next to it when you're doing clothes. Okay. My my 18 year old assistant just said, um, "Have you ordered the lint roller? I told you I needed two weeks ago." Oh. She keeps going to getting pieces of tape. I go, "Oh crap! I ordered I ordered I ordered them. They'll be here tomorrow." <laughs> okay, so hit it with the limp, lint roller, and then use that as my. I like my, it, like you know, th this on. fills it nice, it, and it shows yeah. all the important stuff: built to rock, Barcelona, yeah. Hard Rock, and then the rest of the photos. But I like this shot, this opening okay. shot better. Uh, right. And I would have buttoned the other two buttons too. Yeah, I see that now that you've got it up there. I see that too. See, uh, to uh, Tom, tape does work well in a pinch, but the roller is just so much easier. And I bought a roller that says it's 50% stickier and it's wider. And so I'm going to try those out. So if it works better than a normal roller, I will let everyone know. Yeah. Okay. Sabrina had a good point to put your measurements in inches and centimeters. Yes. Thank you, Sabrina. Okay. We're going to end on this because I've said it 14 times. I'll say it 15 times. If you don't go back and look at your store, you will never know that eBay uh, has screwed you on your pictures for not one, not two, but oh. three full listings don't have pictures anymore. Now I know you had them there, but I some, did. some eBay hiccup happened and no more photos. Okay, I knew about the one, but I did not know about these other two. Yeah, so when you get there, it's uh, the, the Cincinnati Reds uh, tickets. Yep. yep. The uh, flower Candle basket. Wit. Yep. And Cause... so wonderful dreams, snow folks. And get rid of those little single quotes. I just noticed that. Yeah, that I all of my listings had that. All of my listings had bullet points. 
because I used to watch another eBay show that gave me that information. Yeah. Out of Las Vegas, too. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yes, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, do it again, so, do it again, Jason. One more. <laughs> <laughs> so I have been going through and taking the quotes out. Uh, yeah, but like I said, I could tell you've cleaned your store up. So it looks really good overall. And those are just some general tips and tricks. And I hope everyone learned something about yeah. searches, uh, about uh, pictures, and just you got to think outside the box. Now, if you have something that no one else has, like I got a couple of tiki mugs up and I sold a couple last week that I'm the only one that has them. I could be very lazy. I don't have to do much. But if you've got the cookie and the milk thing, yeah, I love and other that. people do, how do you stand out? Throw a couple cookies in the mouth. Because I just bought some Gorham wine glasses and I was looking on eBay. Every one is the same picture. And I was like, Jason said, make these stand out. How am I going to do it? So thank because you. Think about when someone, here, here's what we'll end on. Think about when someone's not on your listing, okay? So they're on someone else's listing for that mug with a yeah. mug. Oh, and when they scroll down to the description and they see all the other ones that eBay's advertising and yours has the cookies sticking out of it, yeah, that will make that person <laughs> stop and go, Oh, I want cookies. Especially the black and the white. Yep. And, and do I need to put cookies not included in yeah, the list? Yeah, I would, just as for fun, put cookies not included because I ate them. Just make it really <laughs> funny. Yes. And yeah. I wanted to say, T, you did fabulous with your store categories. If anybody wants to oh. go to the store, look through her store category. I mean, she goes down deep, deep, deep. And, and I was skimming through, and because somebody had made a comment, and I think it was in the Secret Beach, we were discussing store categories, how is it harder to shop? But I thought, no, because if someone's looking for something specific, you can go right to it. Sometimes I scroll and scroll through pages of looking at people's stuff, but being having her store category so organized, I could go, oh, I'm just, maybe you have memorabilia, I mean, uh, sports, and you have something Seahawks. I can go right there. I'm not wasting my time looking through a bunch of stuff that I know I'm not interested in. Yeah. So I thought you did an excellent job on those. And then Jason, as you were you were talking about going back and checking our store, I was envisioning if I have a brick and mortar store, I have to sweep it. I have to wash wash the windows, dust. So going back and looking at our store is it's equivalent to that. Yeah. I'll talk to myself to do it too. But yeah, it's you know you find things and. You know, I don't know specifically or prove it or anything, but I've heard for years, even with Amazon, every platform I sell on, whatever you're doing is going to help you. So if you go in and spend some time cleaning up or rearrange, whatever, it can be just as good as if you were listing things because you're spending time and the algorithm is picking you up. And I don't know how it all works, but I just for all the years, I know it works. And do the measurements. Yep. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want a returned item, or you don't want to deal with a hundred mm -hmm. questions. How what size is this? Do it, and then people will buy. It. Uh, Dolores, I think that was this show because we did talk about that. But actually, that's going to be my tip next week because we just did some shot glasses with the sand. That I'll show you the before yeah, and the after. So the shot glasses will really show you why you should have colored sand when you do glass. All right, well, keep up the good work. You really you. Yes. need a little bit of fine tuning, and of course. Uh, until you looked at it yourself, you would not realize you were missing three items with pictures. Now yeah. you get those, you get those fixed. And uh, if you all like this, uh, leave a comment on the actual YouTube show, not here in the chat. If you're live, uh, and we'll do it again. And, and, uh, uh, and make sure you can be on camera live. The first person who said they would do it said, why well, don't I have a camera? Uh, I mean, the, there's one thing I wrote. You have to be, <laughs> you have to have a camera. <laughs> like, the whole point of the show is to do this together. Like, I need to see you and you need to see me. And you can get those affordably because about a year ago, we had a guest to come on to for a thrift. And he said, I don't have a camera. I said, go to Best Buy. And I think he got one for like 10 bucks. So yep. if you're, your desktop laptop doesn't have one, that's easy. You can look on Amazon or look on eBay. You can get one. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Don't forget. Thank have, a, have a wonderful oh, oh, thank you for being on. Yeah, uh, that was fun. Have a wonderful holiday weekend. Uh, be safe and sane. If you didn't see the truck that blew up in LA today from fireworks, no, it's go, crazy. Go check that out. Uh, so no mom and dad, uh, mom and dad, mom and me show on uh, Sunday, but we'll be back next Sunday and next Thursday with Thrifty Business. So all kinds of good stuff coming up. Have a great holiday, everybody. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.